This is an ant stinger, and that liquid you're seeing is droplets of pure venom. This is what's happening underneath your skin when an ant is stinging you. Down here, at the tip of the abdomen, is where the stinger emerges from. It's evolved from the ovipositor of a wasp, so it's a hollow tube, and instead of delivering an egg, it transports liquid venom. In this shot, you're seeing a harvester ant pierce through a thin sheet of wax with its stinger. Venom droplets appear when the ant starts pumping parts of the stinger back and forth beyond the sting shaft. Those moving parts are these, the lancets, which make up half of the venom delivery tube. This is also the part of the stinger that can be barbed in some species, but not in others. This whole apparatus is usually less than 50 micrometers wide, which is smaller than the width of an average human hair. So now you know what's happening here, how ant stingers are built, and how they work.